What's up guys, Madacaster here, and today we are in a game I'm pretty excited about called Junkyard Truck. If you haven't heard about this game, it's kind of thing, think kind of like Monbazu, uh, my summer car type thing. You've got the survival aspect of it, and also you've got to build, uh, build up your junkyard truck and do jobs around the map things like that. That kind of stuff gets me pretty excited. It's still in early access. There's going to be bugs and things like that, but I figure let's get on this game and check it out. I've been pretty excited about it. So you start up, this is uh, pretty much where you live. Essentially, this is my couch. This is where I sleep. And uh, yeah, we start off with zero money except for this here. And I'm just going to kind of learn as I go. Kind of put that in my, oh, I hit I for inventory. Put it in my inventory. We have 500 bucks. Now the controls are a little bit weird. <laughs> I'm trying to click on my computer. Space bar does nothing. Enter. Uh, do I just what, stand on it? Nope. All right, look in here. There's actually a lot of controls. Interact is E. Okay, so that makes sense. So yes, there's a layout of all the controls here. So let's interact. All right, we've got email here. I think I found what you wanted. You still looking for a truck? My junkyard received a truck this morning. And not just any truck. It's a 1982 Diamondback this year. And model is the legend is legendary for being damn near indestructible. and needs some work. But I'll sell it to you for an easy $400. Come on down. Take a look if you're interested. P.S. Don't forget to bring cash. We take cash only. Johnny Junks Auto Junction. Nice. I happen to have $500. Check this other email here. Towing insurance. Your insurance plan has been upgraded to include 24-7 towing at a fraction of the price. Stranded. Pick up your phone and give us a call. Good to know. Well, I say we go check out this $400 truck. It appears we've got some sort of lifted car here. Let's hit our interact. That's, that's how we do it. There we go. And shut the door. So this kind of reminds me of... Uh, my summer car <laughs> kind of reminds me of Monbazu, as well as kind of the Gold Rush kind of layout where you've got every little control here. Do we need to use? No, we don't need to use the, I was wondering about that, the choke to get this thing started. Let's get this. Speaking of, there we go. It does not sound good. That is for sure. Let's get this thing on the road and see how it does. Whoa, whoa, I can't stop. I can't stop. The brakes are terrible in this car. I think I figured it out. Brakes are space bar for some reason in this car. But it's, it took a little bit going down the hill, getting very terrified. But yeah, they're still not great. You hold it down, then it, it slows down. It gets there. Looks like we've got a bridge here. Yeah, this is sketchy barely making it up this hill yeah this car has seen better days i wonder if we can repair this car at all because uh yeah this is rough i'm not even paying attention where i'm going on the map i'm just following a road i think we uh yeah we're supposed to be way over there by looking at him at the map it looks like we'll eventually get there we're taking the main road anyway which is probably smart right now that was not good are we sm we are smoking <laughs> we spun and that door opened Close. Is this uh, what's going on here? Yeah, it's uh, that's that's not good smoke either. That <laughs> looks like we're burning some oil. Let's open the hood here. Yeah, everything looks like it's. I mean, I guess it's a beater, right? Let's just keep driving it. If it breaks down, it breaks down. I've got no lights on the dash, which that's good. About half a tank, and I do have to keep in mind all the survival stuff. We are. I, I should probably load up on some. I don't want to end up in a situation where I just die right off the bat and have to restart everything. So, yeah, I want to make sure maybe we should hit up. Looks like we are coming up to a gas station. Indeed. Maybe we should hit this up, get some supplies just to have on hand, just to be sure. Let's uh, cut the ignition here. You have to get it just... There we go. Is it dieseling? Man. This car is in rough shape. Yeah, I was just leaving a trail of smoke, <laughs> blue smoke, no matter where we go. Let's uh, let's actually, while we've got a little bit of, well, I don't know if I'm gonna spend all my money right now uh, with only 500 bucks. Well, we, we know he wants $400 for the truck. We know we're gonna need food. Oh, cool, it does like a little, it's got a little sound effect. It did. Oh, that's so satisfying. Okay, so what do we have here? Cram for five bucks. It looks like that's the only interactable 
food on that shelf. Oh, here we go. We've got beef arena for three bucks. That seems like that would be the smart move. How do we get that? Okay. We just buy it. She's doing so. So it must be going over there. All right, let's grab three of those and uh, might as well grab some what looks to me like this is beer. Oh, I just drank one. Don't no, pay no mind over here. Oh, I just pick it up with the mouse button. <laughs> I just dropped the, the one I just finished off. Okay, put this over here. Hey, all right. That's how we do it. And then we've got our grocery bag. I'll come back for the beer. Let's open up our trunk here. Grab this. Well, I guess there went the grocery bag, but at least we'll get these things in here. I know I'm going to need a microwave, so hope I have one. I think I'm pretty sure I had one at the house. All right, get the beer. Okay, I think we're good to go and buy the truck. Close the door. See if this thing will start back up. I'm not going to worry about gas right now. If we need it later, we'll get it later. That sounds awful. I think I wanted to go this way. <laughs> Still, the smoke cracks me up. Yeah, I think we wanted to go this way. If we keep following this particular road. Oh, stop, don't, don't. It doesn't stop. I took advantage of the brakes that don't really exist in this thing. Oh, what was that? Ugh, this thing is making all the worst noises. Like a pre-runner truck? Oh God, we gotta check this out. So what do we have here? Race flyer. Oh, so I can race with an entry fee of 50 bucks. Well, I don't think I'm gonna worry about that because I don't even think that car is gonna make it. Yeah, racing that thing again with that thing, it's not gonna work, <laughs> not yet at least. We will uh, build up our truck and hopefully be able to compete with that. That's pretty cool. On our way. It looks like we have arrived. Just followed the, oh, stop, 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 stop. Okay, there we go. Shut the car, that poor car. Okay, well, let's check it out. This must be the truck. What do we have in here? Is this his office? Is that his PC? <laughs> oh, wow. That is, uh, that is nice. All right, let's see what we got going on here. This interesting looking fella. Hello, is this the truck? You hear about the truck? You picked the right day. Oh, nice. It has voice over. That's awesome. This must be it then, huh? 400 bucks? Yeah, I'll buy it. Okay. I'll have it delivered to your place tomorrow morning. Oh, cool. I was wondering how we were going to get it home. What is this, an extra... Do I get this extra transmission? And what, is that a transfer case? That would be cool. Is there anything else out here I can have? No, it doesn't look like any of this stuff is really interactable. Okay, looking at my missions here, it just says, call it a day. Get some rest before your truck is delivered. So that's really all we have to do. Got 81 bucks left over. So I wonder if I should just go ahead and get gas at the gas station there. I'm probably gonna want to, just to be sure, because I don't think that truck's gonna be running anytime soon. Oh, now we have an oil light on, so that's good. <laughs> Something is coming loose back there. Is this? Okay, is this the mechanic shop? All right, let's get out real quick. Let's see if there's something we can do for this poor car. Okay. It's very dark in here. Hello. Fill out one of the forms. What is the form? Oh, I wanted... If you want me to look at your truck, <laughs> you got to bring it to me. Okay, well, yeah. Use my phone to call a tow truck. No, no, I'm, I'm kind of concerned about this car, actually. Oh, auto parts. Maybe I can just change the oil. I wonder if we need... It said the oil light's on, so... I wonder if I can just change the oil out here in the uh, in the road. So here is the parts store, which actually there's a lot of stuff in here. This also reminds me of uh, Gold Rush when you go to the, uh, the store there. So there's a lot of stuff here. Might not hurt just to buy a couple of things. I got to watch the money, though, because I don't want to get to the point where I can't afford to eat. But I don't want to blow that engine up either. These filters go to, just says oil filter, it's 20 bucks. How much is the oil? Oh, welding wire, that's exciting. We can do something with a welder. I don't know where the oil is. I'm looking all over the place. 
There's oil pan, <laughs> oil filter. See the oil. And we've got a whole tire catalog here and a lot of tires. So that's cool. That'll be cool when we start being able to uh, modify the truck. Get some different tires and things like that on it. This is all V8 stuff, so it looks like we can put a V8. Yep, yeah, these are some V8 heads uh, in the truck. That'll be cool, or in something at least. Okay, I searched all over. I can't find oil at all. Oh, uh, maybe the oil's in the maybe it's in the uh, gas station. That that could be that would make some sense. Aha! There we go. Two-stroke fuel coolant. Motor oil, 20 bucks for that. I have a feeling we're gonna need it, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Going in reverse in this thing, it just, <laughs> you see the smoke cloud we're leaving. At least we're probably helping with the mosquitoes, right? This is terrifying <laughs> at night. I can turn on my flashlight, but that does not help anything at all. This is sketchy. So I probably should have got gas, as you can see. Oh, that thing just keeps backfiring back there. Uh, I'm not doing great on gas, on fuel mileage. I probably should have, uh, yeah, probably should have got some gas. Here we are, back home. I forgot I wanted to change the oil, or at least add oil. I'm gonna bring it in. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it in the garage. It's hard to see. Oh, how do I open the garage door? There it is. There it goes. All right, took it a second. It's like I had to think about it. Let's get back in here. Not not waste fuel here. Shut the door so I don't rip it off trying to get in here. All right, I think that's good. I saw that there's a creeper here, which means we could probably get under there. Oh, we just pick it up and uh, enter it. There we go. Nice. Oh, I don't know how to control it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm under, I've been under here for a little bit trying to figure it out. There is, doesn't look like there's anything interactable with this car. So it looks like this is maybe just the car that you kind of get just to get you by for a little bit to get and, and to get your truck running. Okay, so we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to leave it be. See how long it'll run. Focus on the truck. Oh yeah, I probably want to get my food out of here. I have to kind of crouch to drop it. There we go. There's one and there's, uh, now I picked them both up. Ah, that's good enough. All right, let's shut the... Yeah, it shuts. All right, let's sleep and see if our truck arrives in the morning. And here we are. Speaking of morning, there's our car. And... <laughs> we do have our truck. So my guess is it's going to need some work. Yeah, we don't have an air filter. We do not have plug wires. And it looks like we're probably missing a few things here. All right, for the heck of it, let's see if it'll start. And yeah, I'm getting nothing. Double check that I don't have to pull choke. Nope. Yeah, there it turned over. So yeah, it's definitely going to re require some work, but that's to be expected. I want to figure out a way to start making a little income. By the way, let's grab this motor oil and put some in the engine just to see if that'll make the oil light go away. Oh, there we go. It did something. It made a noise. Let's set that over here. Okay. Replace the oil cap and let's just see if our oil light went off. I didn't ha even have to hit anything. I just had to get the thing close. I was trying to figure out how to get the oil, how to get the oil in there. And I just got it close. And it seemed like that might have done it because it made a noise. And the oil light is off. All right. So we're just going to have to keep oil in the car. Don't worry. I've. I've had to do that many a time in real life with some of my old cars, so we'll just keep it in the trunk. Yeah, look at that. I do know you can sell wood, and I'm guessing that's what this chainsaw has to do with. So maybe that's a good way to get a few bucks. So let's go try to make try to make some money selling some wood. Questionable parking job, but it sure seems like it's gonna work. Let's get the uh I see that oh no, pick it up. There we go. I saw a tree. I'm right next to my house, and there's a tree with uh, looks like a cuttable tree. So let's try this thing. Try this thing out. No, pick it up. There we go. It's running. Oh, there we go. And timber. All right. Don't hit the. Is it gonna? All right. I think it's gonna stop. Maybe not. <laughs> that was a close call, though. Please stop. I need to cut you up. There we go. Oh, 
I need to stop dropping. I'm gonna cut my leg off. Oh, there it goes. Just move it around with the scroll wheel for a little bit, and you'll figure. Eh. There we go. Now we've got it to where we want it. I believe I'm going to be able to get the logs in the back. At least that's what we're going to try here. There we go. I call that a success. Now, will it stay in there is the question. I think part of my problem is where the car is parked. It's time to let's, let's move it on to more level ground. That was not good. Let's try that again. Get this log. Position it just at, nope. Maybe this, ah, here we go. We can glitch it in from the side. Hey, I, I count it, right? If it goes, that's all that matters. This is gonna be a lot easier with the truck. There we go, we got them all in there and I call it good. Looking at this ground, this is cool. I was reading there's actual mud physics in this game too, not unlike uh, Mud Runner or Snow Runner. Uh, I'm excited to, f to come across some mud to see how that actually works out. For now, I'm concerned, can we get to town with, with yeah, can we get gas? Can we get to town and get gas? Boards are making noise, but it doesn't sound like any of them have fallen out yet, so that's good. Still in there, but we are having trouble cli climbing this hill. Oh, we're going backwards. We're going backwards. No, 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 no. This is terrifying. And we're running low on gas, and there's that bridge. Just need a good run up at this thing. Yeah, that's not working. Oh, we're going over the edge. That's not good. That's not good. Oh man, this is bad. This is really bad. I was thinking if I take the logs out, I can make it back up there, but no, this 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 does not look good. Oh, and just up here overlooking the bridge and there's my car. Looks like these things designed to stop us went, we went right through here and ended up right down there. Just missed those blocks by that much. Now I said something about towing, but I have no phone. You know, I opened my inventory. All I've got is $61. I don't have a phone on me, I don't believe. Ah, there it is. You hit, I hit number one, two, number three, number four, number five. There is a phone. It says Hookzilla Towing right there. That's who I need to call. Ah, transport me and my truck to town. That's the one we want. 50 bucks. We're going to be next to nothing there. Uh, that's my truck, not the car. That's a problem. Okay. I found the place to sell the wood. And as you probably can notice up there in the upper right, I had to start over. There was no recovering that car whatsoever. I tried and tried and oh, here is the mud. It was sketchy getting up here, but yes, you can see it actually. That is pretty awesome. So we can sell iron here from what I understand. You can mine a little bit and uh, sell iron there or wood right over here. So I'm going to go grab the wood and fill up that dumpster. Now, one thing that's exciting about this game is I will have to rebuild whole engines, build engines from the ground up, things like that, R repair engines as best I can to keep it running. Uh, cool stuff like that that we'll be getting into for sure. This is the last log here 100 kilograms let's see what that gets us let's sell and pick that up add to our inventory we've got 100 bucks now what does a tree get us oh another 100 bucks i'll take it nice because we can do that there's uh trees i've noticed all over that are, that you can cut down and it's starting to rain i don't want to get stuck here so let's get back to the gas station and get some fuel in this thing so we don't get stranded don't know which side it's on i'll just guess this car, this poor car. Aha, I guessed right, all right. Let's grab the fuel nozzle and how does this work? It's supposed to go in there. Oh, 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 do I have to open this? I bet I have to open this. Yes, okay, <laughs> there we go. It's making a noise. And the noise stopped. 26 bucks, do I go in and pay? What happens if I just took off? Kinda curious now. Let's just uh, take off. Yep, don't mind me. I paid with a card. And... <laughs> suckers! Oh, although, just now realizing, I wanted to buy oil for this car. 
because uh, yeah, I restarted. I'm gonna keep. Oh, okay, this is gonna be awkward. I'll just say like, oh, I forgot. You know, this slipped my mind. I'm coming back. I'm doing the right thing, right? Okay, let's see. Just play it cool, Metacaster. Play it cool. Hello. Yeah, I forgot to pay for my gas, and I'm glad she still got it there. All right. So let's grab our motor oil as well. Probably gonna want two-stroke fuel for that chainsaw. Let's get this up here, and this guy right there. Okay, so now we got all the supplies. Still got 117 bucks left over and a full tank of gas. That's all that really matters. I think we're good to head back to the house. Sun's going down anyway. <laughs> oh, this car. I love it. I love this game. There we go. Close that. Guys, you can expect a whole series on this game. We are just getting started i'm going to have a blast with this one i'm i'm excited hopefully in the next one we can get the truck going and that's going to help a lot with the logging and get some money to be able to start building our truck out guys thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate it if you made it this far please consider giving it a thumbs up it really does help the videos and guys i'll see you in the next one